Good afternoon. It's Sunday, February 12th, 2017. For all Western New York news and radio, I'm Scott Leffler. Can we just skip the weather today? No? Okay. Well, it's a yucky mix outside of rain, snow, freezing rain, and yuck. High around 34 this afternoon with an overnight low around 27. Chance of snow tomorrow with a high near 31. What's in the news? Congressman Chris Collins is touting legislation he sponsored, the Firefighter Cancer Registry Act, which would authorize $2.5 million in federal funds to create a national cancer registry to collect data on cancer incidents among firefighters. The legislation would allow the CDC to establish and improve collection infrastructure activities related to the nationwide monitoring of cancer among firefighters. These improved data records would include the status of the firefighter, number of years on the job, the number of fire incidents attended, the type of fire incidents, and the number of other risk factors. New York Attorney General Eric Schneiderman continues to fight in the immigration arena, this time adding his name to an amicus brief in the U.S. Supreme Court in Jennings v. Rodriguez, a case involving the federal government's authority to detain non-citizens pending completion of their removal proceedings. Police News An unidentified woman was taken by ambulance to Erie County Medical Center following a one-car crash on Niagara Road in Wheatfield this morning. According to the Niagara County Sheriff's Office, an eastbound vehicle on Niagara Road lost control on the slippery roadway and slid sideways across the oncoming lane of traffic and left the north side of the roadway. After leaving the roadway, the vehicle struck a tree on the passenger side in the front yard of 2765 Niagara Road. The vehicle's occupant, whose name has not been released yet, was extricated from the vehicle and transported by ambulance to ECMC. Three men were charged with driving while intoxicated by New York State Police in three separate incidents Friday and Saturday. State Police say that on Friday, troopers observed a vehicle on Broadway in the village of Alden failed to signal and crossed the double solid yellow lines. The vehicle was stopped and the operator, Caleb Swenson, age 22 of Akron, failed field sobriety tests. He was processed at the Clarence Troopers Barracks, where he refused to provide a breath sample. Swenson was charged with misdemeanor DWI and released with an appearance ticket to Alden Court. Saturday, troopers observed a vehicle traveling 71 in a 40 on Worley Drive in Clarence. The vehicle was stopped and the driver, Ryan Cameron, age 31 of Clarence, failed field sobriety tests and was processed at State Troopers Barracks in Clarence, where he provided a breath sample of .10. Cameron was charged with misdemeanor DWI and released with a return court date in Clarence. Also Saturday, troopers responded to a report of a vehicle in a ditch on Goodrich Road in Clarence. The operator, Jose Jimenez, age 21 of Amherst, failed field sobriety tests and was processed at the Clarence Troopers Barracks, where he also refused to provide a breath sample. He was charged with felony DWI and 7th degree criminal possession of a controlled substance before being released with an appearance ticket for Clarence Court. 35-year-old Eric Lambert of Wheatfield was charged Friday evening with aggravated DWI following a crash on River Road. Police say Lambert was found with a 0.27% blood alcohol content following the crash. He was also charged with aggravated unlicensed operation due to having a suspended license. He was arraigned in town of Wheatfield Court and taken to Niagara County Jail in lieu of bail. A pair of Youngstown men were arraigned in Porter Town Court on Friday on burglary charges, accused of overnight burglaries in the village. According to Niagara County Sheriff Jim Votour, Anthony J. Bardo, age 22, and Justin M. Clark, age 20, were both charged with two counts each of second-degree burglary, one count of third-degree burglary, and three counts of petty larceny. They were held on $20,000 cash or $50,000 property bail and scheduled for a return court date on Tuesday. 28-year-old Juan Batista Ginarino of Erie, Pennsylvania was charged Friday with unlawful possession of marijuana following a traffic stop on Strunk Road in Ellicott. Police say Batista Ginarino was found with a bottle containing three grams of marijuana, a pipe containing marijuana residue, and a grinder containing marijuana residue during the traffic stop. He was arrested, issued tickets returnable to the town of Ellicott Court, and released. 55-year-old Michael Chappell of Ohio was charged Saturday with 7th degree criminal possession of a controlled substance and 4th degree criminal possession of marijuana. State police say Chappell was pulled over for speeding on I-86 in Stowe and found to be carrying a bag containing 2.66 ounces of marijuana, 22 methadone pills for which he did not have a prescription, and hash oil. Chappell was processed at the Jamestown Troopers Barracks, arraigned in the town of Chautauqua Court, and remanded to Chautauqua County Jail. Sports! Evander Kane put in another two-goal performance as the Buffalo Sabres beat the Toronto Maple Leafs 3-1 Saturday night. Jack Eichel tarried three assists in the win. 
The Sabres play again tonight when the Vancouver Canucks visit Key Bank Center at 7 p.m. It's the last day to nominate your favorite soup for the All Western New York Awards Best Soup category. 13 restaurants have been nominated so far. Deadline is 11.59 p.m. Don't forget the All Western New York Radio Black and Hearts Ball tonight at Stamps. Doors open at 6, Final Decline takes the stage at 7, followed by Scathed at 8 and Lower Town Trio at 9. Wear a costume. We're calling this Second Halloween. Okay, that's today's update. For All Western New York News and Radio, I'm Scott Leffler. Have a great day.